Hello there, I'm the base manager and welcome back to Space Engineers. Now, today we have a uh, simple task on paper, but uh, not so simple to uh, elaborate. Right, so last episode we built our welder rover and we welded a bunch of stuff and we also built our partially our underground level over here, right? And uh, today I would like to build the uh, elevator that we spoke uh, in the few previous episodes. I would like to build an elevator between the uh, minus one level where is where we are going to park all of our vehicles and uh, the ground level where we are going to have our machinery. Now, in between episodes, I did a little bit of grinding, I grinded a few materials, and I welded a few bits in there, just to make things look a little bit prettier. I also take some, uh, took up some measurements, that's why we have a bunch of blocks all over the place. Uh, ignore those, those are just uh, so that I know where to uh, mine and where to build stuff. And, uh, well, pretty much the plan is going to be that this area over here, this block, is going to be our assembly area. And then we are going to have our vehicle elevator right here. I still need to uh, uh, dig out the uh, mountain, of course. And then we are going to have our refinement area right over here. This should be more than enough space for um, at least four regular refineries and uh, a bunch of small refineries to take care of the stone for us. We don't want to have our big refineries uh, stranded with that kind of low tier materials now, do we? Now, uh, but before we can do any of that, I also placed almost uh, close to 10,000 plates on the welder vehicle uh, because we are going to have to start moving the vehicles downstairs uh, because, uh, yeah, this space is a tad bit too cramped for my tasting. We are going to have to maneuver the main strosity around here and we don't want the rover, uh, the welder, over here. Now, do we? So, uh, let's take care. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I should also probably increase the suspension a little bit, because uh, this vehicle is quite heavy. One thing I can tell you guys about the elevator, it is it, it is going to be big enough to take care of transporting this thing between the, uh, the downward level and the upstairs level, because I'm not going to be uh, doing this kind of maneuvering all the time, that we want to take uh, this vehicle out. Whoa, I never noticed how uh, tight the space over here was, um, height-wise. But uh, in any case, I am now going to spend the close to 10,000 plates that we have over here. It's not really 10,000, 10, it's more like 9,000 and uh, a few bits in there. I had to use a couple of plates. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to use them and then we are going to take care of our elevator upstairs. First we need to dig out um, the tunnel for the elevator upstairs, mark it with a GPS and then come down here and and try to dig somewhere in the same vicinity. Well, we will see how we take care of that once we get there. Well, that was quick. Uh, I did all the welding that I could. Come on, let's just park the vehicle right here. You can stay here for now. Thank you very much for your service. And now all this platform is welded, although this platform is still minuscule uh, to the size that it's going to have in the end. Oh, I also have to weld this. Uh, maybe we could take care of that in a little while. We can. Ju we just need to point the uh, welders up and uh, that is going to be done very quickly. Uh, but uh, yeah, that is not as fun as what we really have planned now, is it? Um, Hmm, this is going to be interesting to say the least, but I think we can handle it. Alright guys, time to start doing some mining!
my friends. I think this is a good enough start. I I think this is uh, enough space to fit the welding vehicle, but uh, we all, we will only know once we start building the um, uh, elevator down there. So yeah, I'm going to mark the further edge of this thing, like over here. GPS elevator. There we go. That is going to be pretty useful now that we are going to move downstairs and we are going to try to replicate this cavern uh, underneath this uh, voxel and if we are lucky it's going to happen like it happened over here where we are going to start breaking through the surface making it easier for us to know precisely where we are but if not oh well we'll do the rest of the um, uh, mining by hand after all it shouldn't be too much uh, left to mine uh, now this vehicle I don't mind uh, going through the um, the passage this vehicle is pretty maneuverable and uh, pretty tough uh, <laughs> like the entrance to the mine is pretty steep and uh, this thing can uh, go in reverse uh, with a full load so I am not too concerned let's see the elevator is down this path let's try to align the camera I think we should start digging roughly around this part. Mm, yeah, it seems like it is as aligned as it ever going to be. Okay, my friends. So, uh, I think that the second part of the elevator shaft is done. I think that's big enough to fit the uh, welder in. Also, I added a few controls to the hot bar. Now we can uh, increase and decrease the position of the drill uh, without getting out. Just by coming over here and doing this. Uh, around 36, 5, it's the place it, where it usually is to drill uh, forward. So, perfect. Let's park the vehicle. Let's get out. Come on. And let's uh, position the second marker. Oh yeah, I think this is right on top of the other one. Uh-huh. In fact, I'm not even going to uh, marker anything. I'm just going to manually, manually drill upwards to see when do we break the, uh, the surface. Come on. Come on, here we are. Come on, take care of this. This rough as edge. Okay, I think we are pretty lined up. <laughs> this is roughly the middle. This is roughly the middle. Nice. Now, there is one unfortunate thing. I will have to drill this little bit of rock by hand because unfortunately uh, our monstrosity cannot. And I mean, I could technically, okay, technically. Okay, I could come over here with the monstrosity, point the drills all the way down, and then right-click, drag my way out of here. There is a problem, however. If you remove the voxel underneath the wheels, he will fall down and crash. Given that the monstrosity took me a little bit of effort to build, i rather do this part by hand. After all, it's not that big of a deal. Well, my friends, let me tell you, this is a pretty big hole. Uh... It took me a little while to uh, mine all the stuff. Well, m the, most of the part was just to make sure that uh, there was no voxel in the way uh, of this block. And I see a little bit over here. I see a little bit. Get out of here. Uh, because if there is even a little bit sticking out, uh, the second the uh, block goes through here, it's going to clip the voxel and it's going to explode. We don't want that. Now, do we? Of course not. Of course not. No. No. The mining part is not yet done, because now I need to mine downwards. Uh, on this part I'm going to use the mine monstrosity a little bit. I'm just going to stick it into the front over here, point the drills down and just drag it, because in here there is no danger of us falling down. Ooh, some scrap. Uh, because, yeah. Disregard this crap, guys. Uh, and the gun that I have in my hotbar, because there was a few bits in there that um, were very difficult to mine out, but uh, I tried to shoot them. I tried to explode them. It didn't work. But oh well. 
Now it is time to do a little bit more digging, and I feel like that's been the theme for this episode so far, so, uh, I mean, nothing wrong with that, right? Digging is uh, always fun, especially when it's done with this monstrosity of a vehicle. Alrighty, so we have our measurement over here. Uh, we don't want any voxel in any of these um, walls, right? Because our the race rising part will be the um, the platform in the center. Uh, but uh, with this, let me see. I think I have a plate on me and a piston takes plate. If I can find the piston in the middle of this garbage, uh, I think. Yep, it's turning green. Then we have the. Um, what said we need? Now, let's see, how much do we need to bury these things so that the um, head of the piston is uh, in line with the bottom of this block over here? Let's do a few experimentations. Let's go like so. Three. Let's go for uh, pretty much the worst case scenario, which, which would be uh, this one because uh, it is worst case scenario for me that I have to mine all of that. <laughs> let's go like this, and then let's go like this. Okay, so we have three steps over here that should give us three different heights that we need to mine to bury the pistons. Okay, so worst case scenario doesn't seem to be the case, right? We would then put a... Uh, nope. It's just like this, and then like this. Uh, worst case scenario doesn't appear to be the case, or yes it is? Ah, no, okay. It's the middle scenario, right? Come on, right here. This is the one that um, we have to uh, go for. This one right here. Now, a uh, piece of advice, don't put the pistons uh, on the edge. Put them, you know... They don't need to be on the center, but put them a few blocks inward so that they don't clip with uh, the frame and don't cause uh, weird physics. But, uh, as you can see, the game is chugging a little bit for me. Just for having these three, uh, three things close together, the game is not enjoying it. So just, you know, if you're going to build something big, just put the space between the stuff that it is moving. Okay, so now that we know that this is the correct height right here, I'm going to put a bunch of blocks on the floor so that we can put our pistons, and then I'm going to mine the rest that uh, it is of no interest to us. Alright, so our elevator pit has been uh, finished. I didn't have uh, to mine a, little, uh, a lot, actually. Uh, it was relatively simple. Uh, so, the piston position has been mar marked by these blocks right here. They are as centered as uh, they ever going to get. They are um, uh, away from the edge, so they sh there should be no clipping. Uh, so, yeah, time to put them down. Uh, let's see, where are the pistons? Uh, I really need to organize this. One day, one day I, I, I promise that I will organize this thing, okay? But this day is not today. So, uh, for starters, we are going to start with four pistons. I think that four pistons are strong enough, especially big grid, uh, to transport an empty, and I want to emphasize that, an empty vehicle upstairs. Uh, if they are carrying any loads, then I am unsure if it's going to work. Uh, but, um, let me just grind these blocks over here, because the game is not enjoying it. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to weld all of this. I probably won't. I just, I'm just going to weld the blocks that the um, uh, pistons are sitting on, just for safety, you know? The rest I'm, I'm going to leave. Uh, I don't think there is a, a point in... Uh... Energy low. Okay, thank you. Um, I don't think there is a point in, in uh, welding this. This is going to be covered up most of the time, so um, we should never be looking uh, straight at it for... Uh, too long, so the game shouldn't care, you know, performance-wise, the game should not care too much if this is welded or not. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. Uh, cool. Time to weld all of these pistons uh, together, and then we are going to take care of the platform. The platform, yes, should be welded, uh, but that's a problem for a little bit. 
Alright my friends, so the pistons are welded, I also welded the connection uh, between them and the uh, main grid. Uh, the frame is going to be welded, so I, I just wanted to make sure, you know, we never know, sometimes things explode and uh, they might be disconnected and then, and then things stop working. And uh, I don't know, I'm just paranoid, okay? It's, it's just my personal paranoia. No, disregard that, disregard that. Okay, so now we can see that the blocks are not perfectly aligned, uh, but they are aligned enough that the vehicle is going to be able to uh, transverse this tiny little bump. It's not going to be the end of the world. I want to believe it. <laughs> I want to believe it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, but yeah, now we are going to put the platform together, and the platform can be welded by our welder vehicle, because our welder vehicle... Is oh no. Uh, because our welder vehicle is going to be able to drive over it and therefore is going to be able to weld it. Uh, cool. So now let me just extend this platform. Okay guys, so I have uh, placed most of the blocks. Uh, for some reason, I can't place a block in this corner. And I can't place a block in this corner. But only these two corners, the other corners are fine. I don't know, maybe I will raise the uh, platform and then I will weld uh, the remaining blocks, but for now, uh, I'm not going to weld this just yet. Uh, I, st I still need to place a bunch of blocks, because I don't dare raise this platform without making absolute certain that there is no single bit of a voxel uh, in its path. So the way that I'm going to make sure of it is by, well, building a wall. Uh, because, yeah, I kind of also want to have a... Uh, I want this to be completely confined. Uh, I don't want to leave to chance, like, for example, I kill myself, for example, like I did uh, on this turn, and I leave my parking vehicle, and <laughs> leave my vehicle unparked, right? That would suck. Um... <laughs> okay, first death of the... Um, of the series. Dying to um, death to elevator, I suppose. But as I was saying, uh, imagine that uh, we put our vehicle a little bit forward than it should, and then it clips on the wall and it 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 explodes. We don't want that, now, do we? That kind of would be terrible, like me dying because I fell. Okay, so I have uh, cleared out any bits of voxel that I think was in the path, and uh, now everything seems to be cleared. Now, before we do anything, I think we should test this out. Uh, I think we should test it before we weld it, because if it's not going to work, I don't want I don't want to go through the trouble. Oh, I don't want to go through the troubles of uh, welding all of this because this is going to require, let's say, probably three to four mining journeys uh, to weld all of this. So, yeah, I don't want to go through that effort if it's not going to work. So, uh, probably I'm going to need something that I don't have right here, but uh, at least I want to know what it is. What, it, what are the buttons? Okay, so, now that I have the materials and the thing in my hotbar, uh, I think we're only going to need one one button, you know, because it's a reverse button, either go up or down, one button right here, and one button upstairs, but uh, for now we just want to weld this one, uh, let me get the materials, there we go, oh, there is no control panel on this thing, damn it, uh, doo -doo -doo. we can go downstairs, we can go downstairs to do this, please, thank you, I uh, need a control panel to access my thingies, uh, over here, we, oh, Nice, we have the four elevator pistons uh, already to close together, so let's go. Elevate... no. Distance. Right. Mm -hmm. Now these things... we can leave their... Um, their stats as is, as they are already uh, fully extending to the maximum of their capabilities. The speed is... Uh, doesn't really matter. And now, yeah, uh, elevator pistons. Uh, reverse, I suppose. There is three buttons on this thing. Wait a minute. <gasps> oh. Okay. Nice. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I just needed one, but um, I can do other things with it later. Uh, for now, like I said, test. And we want reverse, so uh, save the game should anything explode. Nothing moved. 
<laughs> okay, that's really <laughs> okay. 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 So clearly, some pistons attached to each other. Some other piston pistons didn't. Uh, that can be a problem. Can be a problem. Will it be a problem? I don't know. And uh, clearly, my measurements were not exactly correct. This is a multi-episode effort. Are you extended to the maximum of your cap capabilities? Yes, you are. Uh, huh. Yeah, I didn't took into consideration the height of the piston itself. Because, yeah, my math was correct if... We include the height of the piston itself. Uh crap. Well, I mean, we can make a, a ramp. I mean, we have space. Uh, this is going to be a moving lane anyway. We are not going to build anything in here. We can just build a ramp downwards. Uh, but we have a more pressing concern now. How the hell am I going to weld these things together? Because, uh, uh, you know, I, I was under the impression that, that this was going to be uh, easier, shall we say. Okay, so the entire I uh, put all the blocks once again back. Now, it doesn't really matter if these things are separated, quote unquote, as long as they are moving at the same time and they don't clip into into nothing. They should act as a singular platform. So let's take a look at that. And uh, something got stuck again. It's on this side. This side is the one being uh, a bitch. You know what we can do? It's quite simple, okay? Quite simple. We can use half, bo half blocks and, um, well, we just need to mine the gap, right? I don't think uh, that's going to be an issue. Uh, half blocks are on this one. Come on, half blocks, like so. We do this all around it. Uh, in fact, I'm even going to try and attach the half blocks together so that this can act as a singular platform. I mean, it's not perfect. There is a huge gap over here. Like, uh, I can fall through it, but the vehicles can't, I'm pretty sure. Let's test it out. Let's test how difficult we'll be. Like, uh, yeah. These are unwelded blocks, after all, so um, might be a tad bit janky. But if the, if the vehicle can drive through it, I'll be happy. Oh, pff, the vehicle doesn't care. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. In fact, in fact, why am I testing with this vehicle? This is not the vehicle that is going to serve as measurements anyway. It's this one. Let's go. Let's try to fit this bad boy in the elevator. After all, uh, this is the one that is going to be... Stop, 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 don't want things. That I will probably uh, unweld. Mm, stop! There we go. Perfect. The elevator is more than enough for this. Yeah, we have a little bit more uh, room. Should I uh, have these uh, welders uh, pointing uh, forward? So nothing should clip. Space wise, this is cool. And yeah, as you can see, elevator doesn't really care. The uh, the vehicle doesn't really care too much about that gap. Now, once again, let's see. Okay, so now this thing is moving upwards as a singular unit, so I am happy about it. Even though we we secretly know that some of these pistons might not be connected to the platform, but oh well. Uh, no one needs to know, guys, okay? If we don't tell them, they won't know. Uh, oh well. Let's see, can I put you there now? Cool, that means I should probably be also able to do this. Because this was uh, kind of... Uh, in the way, cool. Now we have to do the unfortunate ramp, of course. Uh, that was... Uh, poor calculation on my part, guys. But uh, it, it is salvageable. It is salvageable. 
and uh, we cannot put two pistons on top of each other because uh, that would mean that I would have to dig down even more and I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> I don't feel like doing that. So uh, give me a moment while I grind and weld and grind and weld and uh, prepare the ramp to be ready to go. Okay, so this is the uh, ramp at least put in place. Now, I think the moment of truth has arrived. Time to test if this is actually going to work. <sighs> Time to see if uh, these uh, two and a half hours of uh, work were worth it. Come on, let's put it over here. We know that this is capable of... Come, okay, stop, 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 that's enough. And well, the blocks physics, they are always sketchy. Are we clear? We are clear, so let's go over here. We need to put uh, two more buttons, one in the elevator and another one upstairs, but for now, this one will do just fine. Okay, so it apparently can hold the weight of this thing. With plates on it, by the way, it is almost full. So cool! Cool, 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 cool. Will we be able to dismount this? Ouch, ouch, boom, bing, bongs. There are bings, there are bongs somewhere. What? How, uh, with, uh, uh, game, uh, uh, game, what? Sorry, guys, for a moment my brain just shut off because the game, uh, phased the we I am so afraid. I'm, sc I, I fear that if I try to run. Oh, uh, I found the culprit. Or at least one of the culprits. These things, they are a pain in the ass. Yeah, there is definitely a little bit of... Yep, here it is. One little bit over here and another bit... Uh, these things are so difficult to destroy, guys. I... I, I try to shoot them, I try to uh, explode them. Nothing works. You basically have to waste all your... your uh, what it? What it? What is it? Oh, here it is. You have to waste all of your hydrogen going around it until you find the perfect spot to destroy it. Well, that bit of box of voxel is winning, but I don't want it to give it the pleasure. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, I'm going... I know more or less where it, where it is, right? So I'm going to put my monstrosity with its big drills on the way. Okay. And, uh, let's see, maybe a little bit forward, it is, uh, somewhere around here. It's so tiny, eh, here it is, here it is. Is it in the window of the, oh, yes, it is. I, I can't even see it, it's so freaking tiny. Yes, it is. It's in the way of the drill, so what I'm going to do is quite simple. Kill myself again, uh, but then I'm going to activate the, uh, drills, uh, on auto and I'm just going to raise the elevator up and hopefully the drills will take care of that please destroy that tiny little bastard yes I think I think I might have defeated the mighty voxel let's take a look at it it was somewhere around here, was it not? Uh... Well, I can't see a thing! So I think we won. Uh, by the way, why isn't this... What? What is the issue now? Why... Monstrosity to the rescue. All the problems were solved by the monstrosity. Uh, the thing was not going up because of the a block that I had placed earlier for uh, measurements. But yeah, all of those little bits of voxel are being destroyed as we speak by the mighty monstrosity. Mm -hmm. Feels good. Now, I have an idea on how to fix this uh, unbalanced platform. Uh, this is going to be the final thing that I'm going to do. Uh, first, I'm, I want to remove the monstrosity from from it, right? So, we know that uh, these things are not welded together, right? Uh, as far as I understand it, the block attaches to the block that you are looking at, right? So, for example, if I attach one block to the to the piston over here, and then I look at, at that block in particular, I am attaching it to that piston, but then when I look around to this piston and I attach the block over here, and then I attach other blocks to that one, I am essentially creating two different grids. And they will not attach together even though they should technically because they are at the same height. 
But there is a way that I, uh, I kind of just thought about it to fix this. It's not going to be easy. Well, I mean, it's not going to be difficult, but at the same time, it's not going to be that simple. We are going to choose one piston. One piston that we know has something attached to it. And it's going to be this one. The other ones, we are going to uh, bring down manually. We are going to revert them. We are going to revert you. We are going to revert... You. And we are going to revert you over here. Come on. So what is the purpose of this? We want to see what grid is attached to where, and we don't want to be crushed. Oh, I don't want to be crushed in, in here, by the way. We get out. Nice. And I, I chose particularly this piston because I knew that the frame was attached to it. Now I'm going to grind away this, okay? I'm going to grind away all of this, and I'm going to grind away the piston heads. And we are going... Oh! Damn it, that wasn't a smart idea. And I'm, then I'm going to re-weld all the platform to this piston. And then we are going to line new piston heads uh, with the existing pistons. We are then going to bring the platform down and attach the heads to the pistons once they slot in correctly. Uh, that should probably be the correct way of doing this. Uh, Multi-piston uh, subgrid thingy. Uh, it's just that, uh, you know, I am still relatively un unexperienced with uh, this game in some aspects, so uh, this is a uh, live and learn kind of thing. Alright, so all the piston parts are in their relative... Uh, in their... Um Supposed positions. I didn't complete the entire platform because our only interest is to attach uh, the thingies, and I don't. I don't know if the weight is going to. I mean, this is not a, a scrap mechanic piston. This is a proper piston. So I, I no, 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 forget what I said. I'm going to complete the platform. I'm not going to leave anything to chance. Okay, okay. Let's go for attempt number forty-five. Oh shit! No 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 no! Stop! 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 Oh my! I almost exploded everything. Three pistons going up and one piston coming down. Yeah, that's not a smart idea. No 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 no! We want to do it. We want to do it over here. Yeah, come down now. All right, moment of truth. I say, I think I said this like 5,000 times already this uh, episode, but... Uh, attached, detached. Attached? Well, it would appear that it's going to work. This one says detached. Now it says attached. Uh, this one was the first one, right? Yep. And now... Attach, detach. I don't know why it still says add piston head, but I'm going to assume that's normal, right? Yeah, it's normal. Okay, so now everything, the entire platform and all the pistons are one singular thing. Now, for the final test, before I decide to weld over everything, everything is moving as one, nothing is going boom, I am happy, and uh, hopefully, so are you. Although it's not exactly ready, we can start by packing... Let's start packing a few vehicles uh, on top of the... This thing. I have to turn off the general, otherwise this thing takes a little while to level up. Right. Uh, you go over there. Let's put a button right here. Perfect. So now we have the three buttons that we need. Uh, let's set this one up. Groups, piston, elevator, reverse. And let's go to the other one. Right here. Group, piston elevator, reverse. Let's send it down. Whee! Oh yeah, guys, I'm super stoked about this. I'm really happy. Uh, it w because it was very difficult, like things were not going our way. But uh, in the end, we persevered. We managed to... Um, overcome all the obstacles and uh, defeat all this, these little things that the game tried to throw our way. All the pistons should be working as one and the entire platform should be welded as one as well. So now I'm just going to remove this vehicle from here. I'm going to bring my welding vehicle and I'm going to start to weld all of this.
And there we go, the crane back in its original configuration. Nice, this wasn't that difficult to uh, put back in place. I was uh, maybe overreacting a little bit uh, when I thought uh, on how difficult this thing was going to be of uh, controlling. It's actually pretty simple. Let's park it right here. Park it, I say. Park the vehicle, even though it is on a flat surface. And now I'm just going to do the final bits and, uh, by hand. And then uh, maybe we are going to finish it up with a little bit of lighting. After all, this thing deserves uh, to be seen. It is quite beautiful. Okay, my friends. Um, with all of this done, uh, this is just so it doesn't look uh, super terrible. I don't really feel like building a wall all the way up. After all, we still want to be remembered that we are in, within a cavern. This was mostly for safety's sake, and that is going to be good enough for us to know where the limit is, right? Now, lightning... Uh, not lightning, Jesus, that would be bad. Lighting, that's what I meant. Sorry guys, it has been a... It has been a while uh, since I started, so let's put uh, a couple of these corner lights over there, and then I would say corner light over there, corner light over there, another one over here, and another one over there. That should give us more than enough lighting. Okay, so now just to finish it off, I think we could uh, give a little bit of uh, coloring to this. Uh, maybe I kind of wanted yellow, please. <coughs> right? So that we remember where the limit is. Right, uh, can I paint that corner? Yes, I can. Nice. Nice. Now, I'm not a huge uh, painter. I kind of like the base color uh, of gray. Gray being one of the colors that I am that I use the, the most often, uh, so it's okay for me. But I like to paint, uh, you know, small details like this one. I think it uh, looks really nice just to have uh, small details here and there. And then in the future, once we have um, a more defined space, the idea would be to do something like not golden armor. See, mm. I mean, I don't think hazard armor looks okay. In um, factory settings, we usually use uh, yellow tape on the floor, but I don't really see anything that might that reminds me of tape. Uh, so I'm just going to go for yellow clean armor. Let's see. How would that look? Uh, that would not be terrible. Right, we could then delineate the path the path that uh, our vehicles are going to take. And uh, that is definitely going to help us out a lot. So it's this corner. Uh, this is not welded. All right, my friends. So I think that uh, upstairs we can see much better the idea of the yellow tape. Could you please go away? Thank you. Let me just correct these few mistakes that I had. And there we go. So the yellow tape uh, idea, we can very much easily see... Uh, um, uh, the paths de delineating uh, where we should go, right? We have the path to the mine right there, the, the path to the, um, uh, you know, going downstairs using the uh, regular ramp, or the path that leads us to the elevator. And why are you painted as well? I don't recall painting you, but okay. And there we go. I think this is going to not only add to the aesthetic of the place, but also be quite useful, especially uh, maneuvering uh, difficult vehicles like the welder. It's definitely going to uh, help out a lot. We don't want that to be uh, painted, nor do we want that. There we go. Now, over here, I still don't really know where I'm going to park the vehicles and uh, whatnot, so just not going to paint anything for now. Uh, we can do that later. But oh well, my friends. Uh, it has been four hours for me, so I'm going to cut it over here. Unfortunately, I did not get the time to bring the, uh, the logistics downstairs, which is going to be the focus of the next episode. Next episode, we are going to start bringing log the logistics downstairs, and we are going to start building the uh, big refineries and um, 
big assemblers so that we can have a uh, larger processing power and uh, a more organized and beautiful base. But uh, with all of that said, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode and that you are enjoying the series so far. If you are, please consider subscribing and help the channel grow. But in the meantime, this is the Base Manager signing out. Bye-bye! Mm,